Hello again and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of the Longwood Basketball Insider. I'm Greg Prouty along with Coach Mike Gillian. Coach, welcome to this week's edition. Good morning, Greg. Coach, a couple of games last week. Uh, Got to mention both of them, but we'll spend more time talking about the second one of the week. But first game of the week last week at home on Wednesday night against VMI. Um, difficult game for the Lancers. Uh, came up on the short end, 93-60 in that contest. Uh, you can talk about that, but I'll also throw out there that this Saturday night, congratulations, win number one in the Big South Conference at Winthrop, a program that's won nine Big South titles in the past 13 years. Final score was Lancers 62, Winthrop 56. Uh, both games, first of all, are, are sort of how it's been going for us over the course of maybe the last three or four weeks. We, we've been in a number of close games. We've had those experiences. We are a little bit shorthanded. And uh, in some of the games that have not been close, there's been something that's occurred during the course of the game where the margin, the deficit, has gotten away from us a little bit. And at that point is really a time when it's, it's difficult to kind of keep playing through that, especially if that happens during the second half. And then you have an end result where the, the final margin is obviously greater than you would want to have it be. With that being said, uh, you know, you, you do measure based on performance. So you measure, and the performance is results of whether you win or lose the games. So whether you win by 10, lose by 10, lose by three, lose in a close game at the end, lose by a double digit margin, there's always something that you can take out of those games, those performances that can help you as you get ready for the next ones. And um, I think that went a long way towards that first Big South win down at Winthrop, obviously. And uh, even, I know we'll get to it, but even being asked after the game, geez, it, it seems like you guys have been here before. It seems like this is something that's not new to you, uh, performing at the end of the game and being in a close game because we did play well in the last couple minutes down there. Well, that's because that's the case. We've just not come out on top in any of those games. We've got a number of them. So uh, I'm sure we'll get around to that. And e each one of those, regardless of whether it's the VMI game at home where we lost by a wide margin or that first Big South win, you you've got to move through them and get on to the next one that we'll get to this week. Coach, down at uh, Winthrop on Saturday evening, uh, played only six guys, uh, your starters, uh, plus uh, Carl Ziegler, um, Michael Kessens, 15 points, David Robinson, Jelani Dublin, 13 points each, T.T. Carey, 12 points, uh, Lucas Woodhouse, 7 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists, and uh, Carl off the bench, uh, a couple of points and a couple of rebounds as well. First of all, that's a, as we talked about when we got ready for Big South play here at home, the first only happens once, the, that first game, and it was such an event and everybody fired up about that. But when you get your first win, first big South win, and that'll be true for every sport. It's come, gonna come up for softball and baseball, lacrosse here in the spring. It only happens once. So you wanna cherish that. It, it's obviously an awesome accomplishment for the players. If for the team, but before the players, they're the ones that are doing the work. They're the ones that have maintained a positive attitude throughout the course of the season. They're the ones that have had to face the adversity head on. As much as everybody wants to win and be successful, nobody faces it like those guys do. And one of the things that, that's important uh, to note here is the support that we've been getting. And, and those guys, the support that they've been getting, because for them to keep the attitude that they've had, they can't do that without a lot of people saying, you know, keep hang in there, keep working at it. We know you guys are going to get there. You've been in a number of close games. It'll happen for you. You always are going to have a select few that will choose to do it a little differently. And that, that's fine, that's, that's their opinion. But we want to make sure that people out there that know, we, we know you're there, we appreciate your support, and keep hanging in there. It's gonna be awesome. It's, it could be an awesome three weeks to end the season. It's gonna be an awesome ride in the medium range, which will go into the next year and then on into the future. We're just getting started on this. So I think that's important to acknowledge at the outset. Uh, as far as the game down at Winthrop goes, you know, when you look at the performances of the guys, the experience that we've gained is really starting to pay off now. It, it's put us in position to be successful a number of times, but now the understanding of what you really need to do to complete the process, to come out on top. We played really well defensively against those guys. We paid attention to the detail, and 
When, when shots were missed, we did a good job rebounding the misses. And that, that is, uh, and going back and looking at it, you mentioned Lucas's rebounds, but Tristan Carey rebounding, David Robinson rebounding. Well, those rebounds are a result of getting stops, forcing the other team to miss the shots that they're taking. And a number of guys played well. We played with patience and poise, and uh, we deserve to win. There's really nothing else needs to be said. How was the, uh, obviously the mood was very happy afterwards, but talk, tell us just briefly uh, the, the post game in the locker room down there Saturday night. The, the best way that I can describe that and, and talk to Scott Bacon about it afterwards is that although it's just the first Big South win, if you've been part of a sports team, part of a competitive group that's won a championship, then you know what that feels like. And there's a couple reasons for that. It was a first. And that would have been the case whether we would have beaten Coastal Carolina, uh, whether we were beating Radford at Radford or whoever that was going to be. That, re that was going to be an awesome feeling. Well, having gone through the, the uh, adversity that we've gone through, it, it made it all that more special, if, if that sounds right. Because those guys, it was a burden lifted off their shoulders, and uh, the celebration was awesome. And it was natural and spontaneous, obviously. There was nothing contrived about it. They were going crazy in there, and they deserved to have that. And the bus ride home was great. And now we need to capture that environment, that feeling, know what it feels like, embrace it, and carry that forward. So when you get in these situations, you know what the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow is going to be like. And Coach, uh, be nice to be able to do that here at home. Got our final three home games coming up over the next uh, eight or nine days, uh, starting Wednesday night. High Point will be here, 7 o'clock. Saturday afternoon, Radford here, 2 o'clock. And then next Tuesday, the final home game, senior night, 7 o'clock game against Liberty University. Um, a couple other promotions this week. It's visitmyrtlebeach.com theme night for Wednesday night, so I'm sure there's going to be a ton of students in there and beach attire. Um, Saturday is our reunion day. is also a Jerome Kersey bobblehead giveaway day, and so far we have over uh, 20 former men's basketball players coming back. There'll be an alumni game at 11 a.m. We'll recognize those guys at halftime. Jerome will be here, obviously. Um, we got guys coming back from every decade of Longwood basketball, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, and then the most recent grads of last year and a year or two before that. So we've got everybody represented coming back here and uh, two home games coming up. The home support's been tremendous with the students on campus. We've had only two games this semester with them on campus, over 1,400 for Presbyterian, over 1,500 for the VMI game, and I'm sure it's going to be crazy in there starting on Wednesday night. Yeah, and each one of these opportunities to play at home is obviously special. We want to take advantage of them. You want to play well. You want to reward the people that come out to support you with good performance. We did not do that against VMI, and that was um, a bit disappointing for all of us. It shows the character of the team, though, to not dwell on that, so to speak, and to come back and win on Saturday down at Winthrop. So it'll be, it's a great time for us. High point. Uh, get it started. Visit MyrtleBeach.com night. The beach attire, let's get everybody out there and have a, have a great time. Get ready for, in, in your own way, for the league tournament that's coming up in a few weeks. Uh, an opportunity to then build on what are going to be rivalries. First, Radford on Saturday. And, you know, having all those players come back is, is special. A couple years ago was a great first time for that. Last year even better. I'm sure this year will be even better. And we want all of the former Longwood bas men's basketball players to feel like they're part of what goes on with the program here. And they, I know that they do, but now as we move into the Big South, they are directly connected to what's happening. Uh, and that's awesome for us. And then you obviously have senior night next Tuesday. We only have one senior on the roster, Stephen Shockley. And, uh, but it's Liberty. And, and you know when you look at all three of these teams, High Point, Radford, Liberty, we're coming off a, a success now. So we need to build on that. But we're also coming off some experience that you can't say, hey, we're going to do well because we owe these guys, but we know what it feels like to have played on their home court. We need to be prepared to defend our own home turf here. So we're very excited about the, the remaining three home games. Even with Campbell and VMI and getting into the tournament, not to eliminate the bracket buster game in there, th this is something that all coaches do. You talk about the next game and the cliche one game at a time. We will focus only on high point for Wednesday, but there is knowledge 
here of what's coming for Saturday, next Tuesday, and on through until we get to the end of the year. And Coach, you, uh, you mentioned the bracket buster. We'll, we'll uh, talk about that game briefly here before we take a look at the Big South standings. Uh, last Monday night, the teams were the pairings were announced for the Bracket Busters event. Uh, we drew UT Martin, Tennessee Martin, over in uh, Northwest Tennessee. About a 12-hour bus ride, unfortunately, to get there. February 23rd will be that contest. There is a unique connection there. Uh, a former head coach at the University of Tennessee Martin was a former head coach at Longwood. Cal Luther coached here in the 80s. Uh, was here for nine years. Uh, very successful tenure at Longwood. He left Longwood and he. He went to Tennessee Martin and he took them from Division II to Division I through the reclassification process. He still lives there. His wife is on the uh, nursing faculty there at UT Martin and uh, it'll be a, um, a long way to get there but it'll be a, a unique experience for this program in the Bracket Busters at UT Martin on February 23rd. Yeah, it's a non-league game that's dropped in there in February, something where we wouldn't be able to participate in unless we were part of the Big South. This is the last year for the Bracket Buster event so excited to be part of that. We're still working on how we're going to get out there. Uh, if there's some good sale fairs that come up, maybe we can fly to get into Nashville or Memphis. It's a long way to go, but excited to be part of that. Uh, and as you go along through this process of building Division I programs, you're exposed to so many different things. We're raising the profile of Longwood. People reach out to you and want to be connected to what you're doing. And what happens is you find these connections that you you didn't even know about or that you knew but they only happen coincidentally and the one with Cal Luther is, is uh, unbelievable I know that he had a great relationship with Jerome you mentioned Jerome Kersey uh, a few minutes ago we tried to uh, make an effort and Jerome was the one that was trying to make an effort to get Cal Luther to come back for one of these alumni games he wasn't able to travel for that so uh, hope to visit with him and see him and we, again we want everybody who's been here at Longwood in, at some point in time to be associated with what we're doing now because this is the beginning. As we move forward, there's exciting days ahead for Longwood basketball and we appreciate the support all those people have given us and want to know that there's space for them on the bandwagon as it starts rolling forward, which it will do. Coach, a uh, quick look at the Big South standings this week. Uh, First, uh, our division, the North Division, high point in first place, VMI in second there. They've kind of separated a couple of games from the rest of the pack in the North Division. Then in the South, you have Asheville and Charleston Southern that are right there, one, two in the top, and they've separated a couple of games um, from that division as well. High point has been playing very well lately. We played them a couple weeks ago down in North Carolina. They had a bunch of home games right in a row, which uh, they won, which certainly helped them to get to eight and three in the league. So they're in first place in our division. Uh, VMI playing very well. They played well over here. I believe uh, the game they lost to Asheville Friday night was at VMI. Asheville and Charleston Southern. So you have teams that are at the top, but at the top by virtue of playing well, first of all, which you have to do to win, and secondly, playing at home. Now there's going to be balance. If, that, if they go on the road, what's going to happen? This is a very balanced league from top to bottom. You really have, uh, and it's going to be an awesome tournament because anybody in this league could win the tournament. And uh, I don't have any doubt about that. We've been through, played everybody now, and, and it's going to be continue to be very exciting as we go through the last few weeks of the regular season and going to continue to be very exciting in the tournament. One of the things that will be important, is so you want to play your best basketball as you move toward the end of February, into the beginning of March, into the tournament, but managing your own team as well, making sure that the players are fresh, making sure that you manage injuries and some guys being nicked up, and keeping your fingers crossed that nobody sprains an ankle or nobody goes down as you get toward the end because w how that can affect your team's performance uh, is significant. And what you want as a coach is for everybody to be healthy. Let's put everybody back in there and hope that everyone's at full strength for the tournament. You have uh, at Campbell, they've suffered a significant injury that's affected them. We've had injuries that have affected us. Every that happens to everybody. It's something that you have to deal with but you wish that everybody could be healthy as we move into the tournament. So then at the end of that, you're putting your best team on it to the NCAA tournament, give them a chance to succeed. Coach, uh, congratulations once again on uh, the first Big South win at Winthrop last week. Good luck this week against High Point and Radford, and we'll look forward to joining with you again next Monday. Well, thanks, Greg. And once again, I think it's important to note, uh, as the coach, you, you're a representative of your team, the athletic department, the university. So people are happy that we got that first win in the Big South. 
uh, I'm grateful and appreciate the congratulations, but I take it and flow it right downhill because the guys on this team that have continued to persevere, continue to have the positive attitude that they've had are the ones that are deserving uh, of those accolades. And there's m much more coming for them in the future. Uh, they believe that, they believe in themselves and each other, and they're gonna have that happen for them as we move along. Coach, we look forward to that starting Wednesday night. That's our show this week, and uh, we'll be sure to be with you back here again next Monday as well. Thank you.